We are asked to perform the indicated operation. We have 7 square root 50x minus 8 square root 18x. We need to begin by simplifying these square roots. To help us do this, let's determine the prime factorization of 50 and the prime factorization of 18. 50 is equal to 2 times 25, 2 is prime, and 25 is equal to 5 times 5, and 5 is prime. 18 is equal to 2 times 9, 2 is prime, and 9 is equal to 3 times 3, which is prime. Let's write the expression as 7 square root. Let's write 50x as 2 times 5 times 5 times x minus 8 times the square root. Let's write 18x as 2 times 3 times 3 times x. And now circle the perfect square factors under these square roots. Well, 5 times 5 over 5 squared is the perfect square factor here and three times three or three squared is a perfect square factor here. Notice how both square roots will simplify. To emphasize this, let's write these square roots as a product of square roots where the first square root only contains the perfect square factors. Let's write this as seven times the square root of five times five times the square root of two times x. And then we have minus eight times the square root of three times three times the square root of two times x. From here, we know the square root of five times five or five squared simplifies to a factor of five here, which gives us seven times five times the square root of two x. And then we have minus eight, and the square root of three times three or three squared simplifies to one factor of three. So we have eight times three times the square root of two x. Seven times five is 35, giving us 35 square root two x. And we have minus eight times three is 24, giving us minus 24 square root two x. Notice how these square roots are exactly the same, and therefore we have like radicals, and we can subtract. Because 35 minus 24 is 11, 35 square root two x minus 24 square root two x is equal to 11 square root two x. This is the simplified difference. I hope you found this helpful.